my name is Melissa Anderson, and my husband Garen and I founded the Pillars Christian Learning Center um, back in 2009. We currently have four locations with our fifth location under construction and set to open in January. Um, we recently purchased 24 of the CDA programs through IC360, and we did that. Um, actually, I think it was one of the good things that came out of COVID. Um, back in March when the pandemic was really setting in and we saw our attendance continue to fall at our centers, um, one of our goals was to make sure that we kept our teachers employed um, and also that we were able to pay them for their full normal schedule. Since they weren't needed at the centers um, as much because our attendance was dropping, we thought one of the ways that we can do this to ensure they're 40 hours a week is to schedule them for 30 hours at the center and then 10 hours at home to work on their program. Um, we rolled it out, introduced it to the, to the teachers. We decided to start with the lead teachers um, because we have such a big staff and obviously couldn't offer it to everyone at the same time. Um, but we, we started with the lead teachers and um, just had a really overwhelmingly positive response. We had 24 agree to do it. And um, they just, they were so appreciative and so excited about the opportunity. We had thought about offering it um, prior to COVID, but it was really more of a cost constraint, um, getting the buy-in from the teachers and just trying to figure out, is this really the right thing to do? Because um, obviously it's, it's a big financial investment. So um, I, I would say mostly it was a cost constraint. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, it's really hard to put a dollar amount on the ROI, it's, it's priceless. One of the um, things that we've always wanted in our program since we founded it was to have um, at least all of our lead teachers either have a degree in early childhood ed or a CDA. And there have been different phases throughout um, our journey where we've been able to accomplish that. And then, you know, it'll kind of dwindle down and just based on the job market, um, you know, whether we were able to attain those members that already had, those team members that already had um, a degree or a CDA. And so we found ourselves, and we actually talked about this a couple months ago, that we felt like that was something we needed to focus on again because we had so many that didn't have a degree or a CDA. Um, and so this, it just, the timing came together and it just worked out perfectly. Yeah, well, th there's two things. So number one, I think um, having your teachers have a CDA, it just improves the overall quality of your program. You can't dispute that. And I think what we all strive for is to have a high quality program and to ensure that we're offering the best experience for the children in our care. And then having the CDA and the training allows us to do that. And then the second part of that is going through IC360 and acquiring the CDAs through you guys. Has, I, the whole process was so easy. It was, you know, we sent you a list of names and then bam, they were enrolled and they were starting their CDA. So um, it really couldn't have been any easier.